With the TV season coming to a close, it's going to be months before our favorite shows return. Okay, well, I'm officially terrified. In this week's episode of The Buzz, we're here to help with the series that'll get you through the summer drought. Hi, I'm Becky Kirsch. I'm Shannon Vestal, and we're the editors of Buzz Sugar. It used to feel like there was never anything good on TV in the summer, but that's no longer the case. So we're breaking down five series to look forward to, starting with True Blood. Yep, we're going into the fifth season of True Blood, and even after all these years, I'm still really excited to watch because it's like my eye candy show. I love Alexander Skarsgård as Eric, Stephen Moyer as Bill, and Joe Manganiello as Alcide. And as we've seen in some of the previews, it looks like Sookie is finally warming up to Alcide, so I'm hoping that's a little romance that we're going to see stoked. I like how you have that like dreamy, far-off look <laughs> in your eyes when you're talking about it. So what new characters can we look forward to seeing on this season? Well, there's going to be a focus on this, this uh, council known as the Vampire Authority. So we're going to see several new characters, including one named Roman, who is a powerful vampire who's played by Christopher Maloney. He's a TV veteran. I'm sure everyone will recognize him. And I'm also really excited to see this character called Nora, who's actually Eric's sister. I agree that most people recognize Christopher Maloney, although Bon Tomp seems a long <laughs> way away from Law & Order SVU. It is. I personally can't wait to see the aftermath of Tara's death and if whether or not she's actually alive. <laughs> oh my god, Tara, no! Let's move on to another show that also ended on kind of a cliffhanger, when that's Pretty Little Liars. Right, now this show is as addictive as they come. One of the things that's been keeping it going is this central mystery of who A was, but we find out at the end of season two, turn this off right now if you don't want to know, huge spoiler, but A is Mona. So season three is now going to focus on, I guess, what, what happens like in the aftermath of now that we know who this is, now that this mystery has been solved. So. so now, for fans that have been watching just to find out the mystery, what's like left? Like why do you think they should continue watching? The mystery has been, you know, really interesting to watch, but like this show I think is just candy. It's not just eye candy for the guys who are on it, but there's also these really great relationships. Like Aria and Ezra, I'm always interested to see what happens with them. So I think that people will still watch. Well, another show that's going to be fun to watch is So You Think You Can Dance, which could not come at a better time because there are so many singing competitions, including a new one. And you know, I'm sorry, Kelly Clarkson, but I just can't take the singing anymore. And to me, So You Think You Can Dance is the only dancing competition that matters. Sorry, America's Best Dancer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really excited about this season because we're going to see a format change. It's going to go from two nights a week to just one night a week. It's a two hour long show, so you'll see the dances and the elimination on the same night. And another thing that's going to happen is that this season there's going to be a male winner and a female winner. So I'm just pumped. I'm excited that it's changing and I love being an armchair critic. I love watching the dancing. All right, well, while you're watching like the dancing and the eye candy and all that stuff, <laughs> I'm going to be programming my DVR for Breaking Bad, which is not only my favorite summer show, but one of my favorite shows in general. Of course, it is a lot heavier than some of the other stuff we've already been talking about, but if you need your drama fix, this is where you want to get it from. The last season ended on kind of, you know, a inter very interesting note for fans. It's hard to describe, and I don't want to spoil too much, but there was the death of a major character. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they'll pick it up from here. And this kind of marks the beginning of the end for this show, right? Yeah, it does, because there's 16 episodes left, so they're dividing it into two seasons of eight, so we'll have to wait all the way until next summer to find out how it all turns out. But, you know, eight episodes, I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get with this show. It's over. We're safe. So it's not just returning series that you can look forward to. There's also some new stuff, and one show that I really can't wait to see is The Newsroom, which is a new show from HBO, and to me, Summertime shows, I don't know, HBO, it kind of feels like they go together because they had Sex and the City, Entourage, Six Feet Under, all those shows premiered in the summer. So now this new one comes from Aaron Sorkin, and I love pretty much everything he does. You know, most recently he did Moneyball and he did uh, The Social Network, but The West Wing is when I fell in love with his writing, so I can't wait to see him come back to TV. I'm totally with you on the Sorkin love, and I'm really pumped on this show. It's about a news anchor played by Jeff Daniels, who, from the looks of the previews, looks like he kind of falls apart and has to pick up the pieces. And I'm not just excited about Jeff Daniels, I'm really excited for this cast. It's got a great ensemble with people like Dev Patel and Chris Messina. I just can't wait. I'm putting, it's already on my DVD. I've got it programmed. I was fighting the good fight. How's it going so far? Progress is slow, but I'm in it for the long haul. So do you think it's going to be a comedy or a drama? Because it sounds serious, but the I... trailer was kind of funny, right? Yeah, and it's Aaron Sorkin, so I'm kind of thinking dramedy. Like, think about how many times you laughed in Moneyball. So that's what I'm hoping for. I will think about that. <laughs> anyway, you can watch the newsroom in late June. And until then, tell us what shows you can't wait to see this summer. I'm Shannon Vessel. I'm Becky Kirsch, and thanks for watching The Buzz.